10 a.m. Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. Yeah, man, right here at the Good Honey Beard. What we're going to do today is a little bit of a little technique I developed some time ago. And uh, we're going to open up this colony here. Well, it's not a colony. This is just, this is just some bees. Just have some bees inside here. I took out a frame here and put it in and make it into a nook with the queen. So what we have here now is just the remaining bees and the upcoming emerging brood. So I need to take these, take these brood and unite them with, a, with the one of the nooks and um, get them to accept the queen without killing her. These emerging uh, brood here wouldn't have a, a queen for a moon smell to, to go with. But it will have some bees here which is older and would remember the queen that I took out from here. Remember her smell. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask that smell by a simple little technique. We're going to take this spray. What we'll have here is some honey water. And we're going to spray them with this honey water. Just like that. Spray the frames. So when these bees, when they, they, they go to clean out themselves, if you look good, you will see that all these bees is emerging bees. You know, you see how they're looking little whitish whitish they like and they're moving with a kind of little wiggle yeah these are just young bees that just hatched yesterday and today and um we just douse them down with a little of this honey water give them give them a little bath and you see we have um we have some Oh, I crush one day. Oh gosh, I don't like to crush bees, you know. And we have some. Right, we just do them like that. We have some nice um brood here, so we don't want to lose that. So we have what. One, two, three, four frames of brood. So that means that the the nook when they come to clean out all this honey water, they will, you know, assimilate this this brood very nicely. And that is what I'm looking for. So you see, we have here in position eight a foundation patchy but you know they stick it up they're getting it ready and we just push it around like that we leave the broodness in the middle and we'll take the we'll take the nook and we will just slip it inside here we're going to push this box and push it over to the you see we have here we have seal honey and all my bees have seal honey you know check out this See that? So they have enough storage there to last them. To last them for a while. Plus it have nectar inside there as well. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is how I do my thing. Make sure the bees have enough food source. Alright, so here is the thing. Right over there I'm going to be putting on this box and I'll transfer those, those two frames into this position here. Here will hold two frames. Right? And those bees will occupy this as their new home. If it have any stray bees that come back to this position, as you see some of them coming in here, and they even come in with pollen to it, they will migrate over to that, that colony there. Alright, so hold on for a minute. 
Okay, so they're on spot here now. Let me just give us a little, little whiff of smoke in the air. So let's proceed to use this old proven technique. Okay, ladies, I'm coming in. Be prepared. Don't sting. Wow, you're looking good, man. You're looking strong. Let me get them a little smoke ready. Well, actually, you have no smoke in the smoker, but just the, the smell of it will get them, um, keep them calm. Let them know well. I need to help them out a little bit more. All right, let's see. And in all cases, make sure and put on your veil. Eh? You might not have on gloves and whatever else, you know. But you always need to make sure that you, you prepare for anything. Prevention is better than cure. So the people will say, right? So let's take up this, this frame here now. Alrighty then. What? We have some brood. need to see the queen now but I'll give it a quick look uh -huh. let's turn it on the other side and there she is there she is right there see that nice looking queen there yeah man Queenzy I don't know when I'll see you again but you're looking real nice yep okay so we're just going to put this this frame with the queen right down here and they would it work that really good all right so that's one we'll take up the next one here now Also, by doing it like this, I'll be able to monitor the behavior of the, the bees. You know, if I have a, a gentle colony here, or if I have a potential aggressive one. So there you go. That in place, we just need to shake all the rest of bees there now. From the box, 